In this lesson we are going to speak about the Android device monitor and to finish we are going to take a screenshot to share with our friends. So up here is the device monitor. I already have it open. When you open it, please drag this line down so you can see all the devices that are connected here. For example, I'm going to plug my mobile now and it's going to appear here. But we are just we are just focused on the emulator at the moment. So we are going to find our application here. You can see all the applications that are executed on the phone at the moment. And you can see also the log cut, all the logs coming from this application and the mobile. We can change here the level of the log cut if we are just interested on error or just warning or just everything in general that is coming out from our mobile. We can add one filter here if we want. So um, we, I'm going to create my filter and this is going to be my application name, which is com Udemy, my first application. So I will only see if there are any logs coming from my mobile, I will only see the logs from my mobile here when I am on this filter. Okay. The next thing that we that is interesting about the Android device monitor is from this option here is the heap. We can check how much memory is using our application here. So if we click on our application and click on update heap, we can see here how much memory we are using. The next thing is important can be the file explorer. You can see the files that you have on your phone here and you can get files from from on your mobile or put a file on your device. Okay, so finally we are going to take a screenshot here. So select your device, select the application and select the camera icon so you can see your device here. You have a button refresh here. This is not real time. So I'm going to go to the emulator I'm going to open the application, show the progress. Now I can refresh this and I can take a screenshot of this. So now with this image, you can send an email to your friends and show them how you are learning Android. Also, please send an email to us and tell us um, what are your motivation to learn Android if you want to do your personal application and this professionally and what would you like to learn because I'm going to be adding a lot of application, a lot of example to this course and I don't mind to add one example related to Google Maps or one example related to database. I will do what most people will ask and with all the example at the end you will become a professional.